Nickname? Kati. Favorite song? I'm not a fan of Justin Bieber, but uh, <laughs> yeah, one of his songs, I think. Yeah. <laughs> What's your worst habit? I think mm, I'm always on my on my phone. Yeah, it's my worst habit, I think. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, I love my PNG food there, uh, the coconut rice, yeah, the coconut cream rice with the uh, ox and pop, the corned beef. Oh, yeah. corned beef. Yeah. What makes you angry? Dropping a ball in the game, yeah, that makes me really angry. And, uh, and uh, when my boots come off <laughs> in the field, yeah, <laughs> that makes me angry. Yeah. <laughs> That's a killer. Golden point, golden try, or draw? Um, I think I'll go for a golden try. Yeah. Your favourite holiday destination? I think Dubai, I think. Dubai? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boxing or golf? Oh, I'm not good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, golf. Coffee or tea? Back home, I was good at drinking uh, tea, but while I'm here, I was. The boys always go out for coffee, so I'm following them, so I think coffee here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kato, you're a man of many talents. You played volleyball, uh, rugby sevens, um, and you were even given the opportunity to play for the PNG Hunters Rugby League team. You were so good at all those sports. What made you pick rugby league? Um, I think because uh, all my brothers and my uncles played football, like rugby league, and uh, that's one of the things one of the sports that when I grew up I always wanted to play and but those are the sports that came in and I just tried them out but after that I just came up, rugby came up so I just took rugby and said I was it, I'll stick on my, I'll, I'll stick on rugby league and yeah. Who did you look up to growing up? I was watching like rugby league and I always seen Greg English, mm -hmm. yeah and yeah, he's been really good how he plays and that's, yeah, I love him how he plays and yeah, that's, I always look up at him and yeah. So Canberra have your services now and it wasn't easy. Um, Peter Mullins recruited you and he believed in you that you would thrive in the nation's capital. To pack your bags and leave your small town of um, Tatana in PNG, was that tough for you? Oh yeah, it's really tough, you know. Like leaving your family and going somewhere, you know, far, like coming here, it's just tough. And uh, it was really hard when I first came down. It was like I was homesick and stuff, and I started thinking about my mom because I grew up with my mom, and you know, she, she was there for me when I was a kid till now. And I lost my dad when I was 14, so you know, living there with my um, Brothers and sisters, it's just tough for me, but I've handled it very, very well when I'm here. So, yeah, I've been talking to them um, lately, you know, when I came, so yeah, at least they keep uh, keeping the company and I've been talking to them, so yeah, I feel much better. What do you miss most about not being at home? Uh, yeah, I think definitely my family. I mean, yeah, my, especially my mom. I mean, yeah, like, I miss it so much with my brothers and sisters and yeah, my whole family and friends who've been there for me when I was there. And, you know, people we, I grew up with, you know, they mean a lot to me, so yeah, that's what I miss, miss a lot, yeah. Two years ago, rugby league was unknown to you and you signed a two-year contract. It must have been very overwhelming for you. Um, how hard did you work inside and outside of training? Um, the precision was really tough, I think, when I came, when I first came there, because my weight was like 106, and I came in, uh, to be honest, I was struggling on the first week, and then, yeah, then I stayed, and I was just controlling what I was eating, the food, so my weight went down, and I, like, I was just pushing myself through training, and I was just keeping, like, talking to myself. I must not, you know, um, drop out on this. I have to, like, push because uh, I have I set goals in my life that I want to achieve. And yeah, I've been working with them, and those things help me, you know, come down. But this is not it. I still got a lot more to do, and I'll see how it goes. Yeah. 
What are your hobbies outside of football? I think volleyball, I think. Mm. Yeah. yeah, like back home, I usually, we usually, uh, all the boys tie up the net and then play volleyball. Yeah. All right. It certainly helps with your height. I mean, how, how tall are you? You're very tall. Uh, I'm 194, yeah, 194 centimetres. Yeah. Who at the club, whether it be Mounties or Canberra, has helped you through all the professional aspects of being a rugby league player? Like I signed with the Camarillas, but I'm playing with the Mounties at the moment. And I, I, I prefer like Mounties and then if they, if the Raiders select me, then I can go up and play. But yeah, I'm just in what, I, I'm just doing what I'm, I want to do or they yeah, like see it to do and play play football and be just considered uh, consistent with my game so that I can have a crack at the top grade. Kato, we've got some special questions here from the fans in our social media segment. The first one's from Walker Ian Amos Jr. And he wants to know, the Pacific test is just five weeks away. Are you keen on putting the Kumuls jumper come May when the Kumuls take on the Butties? Has Kurt Baptiste mentioned to you if he wants to represent Papua New Guinea? Oh yeah, you know, growing up, I wanted to play for my country one day. and I made it in volleyball and uh, when I play, started playing rugby league, I wanted to uh, play for the Kumuls one day and yeah, we played last year against them. And um, it'll be a bonus if I'm selected this year to play again. And, it's a privilege and honor to play for my country. You know, everyone wants to like, play for their country and that's, that's a big thing when they play sports and for rugby league. Yeah, if I'm selected to play this year for the Kumbus, then yeah, that's a bonus for me too. And yeah, I'm just, yeah, just happy to play for my country. Yeah. Uh, we've got another question from uh, Rivers. Kiap Eliza, I apologise if I got that name wrong. Um, he wants to know, is the Queensland competition tougher than the New South Wales one or is it the same? Uh, it's quite similar, yeah. It's the same, I think, because... Yeah, but I've been playing for... At the Queensland Cup, I was playing a second row, but I came here and playing winger, so I don't know how the middles work and how the backs work, you know, like... So, but I think it's the same, it's quite similar, yeah. Where do you want to be in 10 years time? I believe I will still play football in 10 years time and I will, I'll, I think I'll end up here living in, yeah, if football makes me like become someone in life, then that'll be great, yeah.